Jay Grazio with Shooting Illustrated, here with another entry in our iCarry series, bringing you firearms and gear devoted to home and personal defense. Today, we have a Smith & Wesson Model 360 PD 357 Magnum revolver in a Filster City Special holster. We also have Altamont grips, a Surefire Stiletto flashlight, and a CRKT knife. Let's take a closer look at this gear. We're carrying the Model 360 PD today, which is an exposed hammer, small frame, super lightweight revolver. Normally, we've recommended either shrouded or enclosed hammer options for concealed carry for snag-free draws from a pocket or inside the waistband holster. However, today's rig is an appendix carry variant, and there's a specific reason for the exposed hammer. It's an aid for reholstering. One of the criticisms levied at appendix carry has to do with, well, where the muzzle points. Should one be carrying a firearm with no external safeties, like a revolver, the act of reholstering can be complex and fraught with potential danger. Having an exposed hammer you can cover completely with your thumb while reholstering greatly mitigates this danger and is a great reason for choosing this type of revolver. The 360 PD is chambered in 357 Magnum and at just under 12 ounces is quite the handful to shoot with full power 357 Magnum loads. I don't recommend it unless you really, really want your hands to feel like you've beaten them with a mallet. However, it does mean you can feed it a steady diet of 38 Special Plus P ammo and not worry about potential damage from recoil. It also leaves the door open for full power magnum rounds when facing four-legged threats, should you be in such a situation. Choosing a 5-shot J-frame over a 7-shot 380 ACP or 6-shot 9mm semi-auto really boils down to a personal decision. What it comes down to mainly is familiarity. If you're a revolver fan, you're going to be more comfortable carrying a small version for self-defense. Five rounds of 357 Magnum or 38 Special Plus P shouldn't make anyone feel like they're not adequately armed. However, with a specialized tool like the J-Frame, dedicated training is absolutely a must. Seek out a qualified trainer offering classes dedicated to the small revolver to maximize its effectiveness. Filster City Special Holster brings the ease of appendix carry to the small frame revolver. And there was much rejoicing. Designed for Smith & Wesson J-Frames and Ruger LCRs, the City Special is ambidextrous, relieved for Crimson Trace laser grips, and comes with a tuck strut to keep it properly oriented on the belt line. An interesting feature is what Filster deems the reload cut, which allows you to deposit an empty revolver in the holster by the cylinder to allow single-handed reloads. Obviously, it works with two hands, too. If you're looking to increase purchase on your small frame revolver while simultaneously upgrading aesthetics, wood grips from Altamont might be the ticket. With a wide variety of wood grain finishes and textures, it's simple to match the feel in the hand with a pleasing appearance. Whether you like stocks with or without finger grooves, prefer checkering or basket weave patterns, or simply want a dark or light colored wood, the options are many. Form and function, what a concept. Keeping minimalist gear doesn't leave you relegated to a minuscule light with low power, not with the Surefire Stiletto around. Featuring high, medium, and low settings, and power output of 650, 250, or 5 lumens respectively, the Stiletto offers a battery that recharges via a micro USB cable and a pocket clip to keep it ready. It's easy to carry, easy to keep charged, and has a tail cap switch for momentary on activation on the highest setting. There's even a programming switch if you want to change how the primary activation switch cycles through the settings. With a 3.185 inch plain edge drop point blade and aluminum handle, the Caligo by Columbia River Knife and Tool is an excellent EDC choice. Factor in the ball bearing pivot mechanism that opens quickly with a thumb stud, liner lock and black oxide black aluminum finish on the blade and handle, and you've got a purpose-driven knife to meet your EDC needs. For more information about this gear and other everyday carry combinations, visit shootingillustrated.com. And as always, stay tuned for more gear on iCarry.